there's so much to who I am. You know, every day you, you wake up, you're like, who, who am I? If you don't question yourself, then I don't know if it's, it's a good mindful practice. My name is, is Creek, and Yadika, Yadika means interpreter and listener. I know my ancestors fought hard to bring me here, to put me here, speaking, doing, creating. They want me to be engaged in the organic world and nature, like we used to be, through prayer, through culture, through ceremony, through love, through relationship with the land. But being here, it's a modern culture. We have to exist, we have to fight, we have to evolve to recognize who we are in this modern day and the evolution of where we come from. You only hear that sound once a year when you're camping out here. It's like no winds from like so many miles radius from you, just canopies moving. And you can hear it like a wave, just like and you're like, okay, this is gonna be a big one. Your tent totally moves, you know? So it's like. <laughs> it's always nerve wracking this race. Just cause. Any other race, you're just another face, but here it's like, okay. <laughs> you know the dudes, you know, like you run with them. <laughs> All right. Walk your ride, okay? Yeah. thought I'd be a runner. Just kept adding and adding up, you know, and then I found more joy in it with the challenge of it, waking up and knowing I can go run and the freedom in that. And so there's prayer in it for me. I pray to the grass that still grows when I'm running, you know, the sunrise that gives everything nourishment, the waters that still run, that keep us connected. I think it takes a strong mind to touch down and openly talk about deep things that, that have happened or you want to be able to, to clarify and articulate what it is you're doing. <laughs> Making me be strong to do it is the running. And it helps me stand long hours in front of the canvas and do large murals, which I call endurance painting. And I pretty much use what I know in ultras to paint. All right. Good job, John. 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 My art is, is evolving, and I'm thankful for the opportunities that have been given to me to make it happen. You know, I just had an opening in New York City, which was, it's something you always dream about, you know? I think the beautiful thing about painting is that not one painting is alike, and every painter is gonna have their own style. You have mine, which is adorned with color, and it's very fluid, and there's a lot of movement, but that's because that's where I come from. A collection and mixture of culture through art, indigenous culture, nature, that's the anger, that's the beauty, that's the love of color that I've gotten to know. Color is medicine. You know, if you use it right, if you use it well, you can really enhance life, you can really enhance a place. You can move people with it, and that's what I try to do with it. I try to be almost like a chemist, a doctor with color.
and a lot of Native American regalia culture and beading. They bead with lines of colors to simulate and depict land, green, blue, beads will be sky, red, orange, can be fire or sunset. And then you have these tape off elements which are replicated like almost ribbon work, Osage ribbon work. Uh, but I just kind of incorporated my own design in this. And so it gives it a kind of an innate, a design that kind of travels through the whole thing. There's all that in my work and that's what makes my work so, so different um, and stylized. You know, there's a lot of movement in it because I want to be engaged with my body with it. I want to tell a story. You know, then you have to think about, well, how did we get here? The deep traumas that are embedded in every indigenous individual in America. The traumas that we've had to endure and that we exist in, it's in our blood and in our poverty, never to get out of a place. And therefore that puts our self-esteem, that puts our confidence at a level that's below the mark where you need to be successful in America. And it gets harder for us every day. So, so it's hard, but having a cultural understanding, having instilled in me creative outlets and a celebration of beauty through rhythm and dance and color and believing in myself that I can go above and beyond and be stronger as an individual has helped me overcome those barriers. And I try to utilize that now and be a role model for myself, but also for others. That's my mission. When I'm done with the painting, I don't care if I see it again, you know? What I learned was in the process of it. It was given to me as almost a gift. I gotta use it right to give it out there to help other people. I know my ancestors wanted that. Whether that's through running, cycling, painting, they want me to be engaged in the world and nature. It keeps me informed and it keeps me knowledgeable to where I'm at. That's what shaped me, who I am. My name is Yadika Starfields. I'm Osage Cherokee in Muscogee Creek. I'm a contemporary modern indigenous removed to Oklahoma through colonialism. Like I never in my life thought I'd be doing what I'm doing now, doing things that, that my ancestors would, would be, I think, proud of, that I'm using this way and this path to dictate my humanity, you know, so.